Well, hello there. I um, am Kendra and welcome back to my channel or just welcome if you're brand new. I um, am a mom of five grown children. I have two doggies here, two little black poodles, toy poodles. And so I'm kind of um, just doing things like recipes, cooking. This, in fact, isn't recipes or cooking, it's grocery hauls. Love to do those too. I also do stockpiling and emergency piling um, with, um, you know, like medical things that you might need in an emergency, food, dry goods, soaps, that kind of thing. So I did some of those and I'm going to keep doing those because I enjoy it. It gets me on the ball and reminds me I need to push things forward and move things back and date things. If you hear a squeak in the back, that's my little Joy. She is, uh, she found herself a squeaky toy. So on to the, um, the grocery haul. It's not that big. Um, I think the total was 165.72, but I'm gonna include that in the description later. Um, so you'll have to push that little button, it'll drop down and it'll show you what each thing costs. So this is for my um, prepper pantry, and it's got, um, I think I got four, yeah, four of the um, mashed potatoes, the instant, which are great because all I have to do is add water in the event that I have a problem. Um, let's see, we're going to go on to meat now. Uh, well, meat meaning proteins. We'll call it proteins because some of this really isn't meat. This <laughs> minced clams, I use those for mainly dip. But I was thinking, you know, in the event, again, of an emergency, we're going to have um, some protein here with these. This was a freebie. I think, um, I don't know why, but I got them for um, something at Fred Meyer, which is Kroger brand. So, you know, that was a good deal, freebie. And then, I'm going to have to look at my receipt. I think it was a freebie. I got these cocktail smokies. i um, going to make... Some pigs in a blanket. I saw somebody do something really creative and cute with um, the crescent rolls and the smokies, and I'm going to go ahead and do that too. I mean, anybody can do crescent rolls and smokies, but she had a kind of a spin on it. Wish I could remember who it was. She did a great job. Um, and then I got these Vienna, or do you say Vienna? My husband is from Alabama, and he says Vienna sausages. I don't say it like that. It's Vienna, as in you know Vienna. <laughs> It's one of the things I love about him is the way he says things. It's so darling. Anyway, um, three of the hydrogen peroxide. I use these mostly in laundry. But, of course, you know, if you need it for something else, it's good for that, too. Um, this, if you have some wet blood, you can't let it dry, but if you catch it when it's wet, squirt on this, soak it in a little bit, it removes it. It has um, an ingredient that dissolves the proteins in blood. So, um, there's that. Let's see. I also got some of this Bonner's soap and Borax. I use this a lot in my laundry anyway, but I'm going to try my hand at making some homemade laundry detergent to keep on hand just in case. In case we're not able to get regular detergent. By the way, that is missing from my haul. I still have plenty because I'm stockpiled, but... You don't want to be without. So there's that. So that's all my non-food is right here, I think. Camera, oh, I'm missing one of these. And put this with the others. There's garbage bags all over the floor. Um, I got, I got lots of different kinds of beans, but I didn't have any of these 15 bean soup, and I think these would be enjoyed. Um, whether you have an emergency or not, I'll be using this. I go through my stock, and everything that I buy, we use. So, um, this was a favorite of one of my boys. Um, I have three adult sons that still live in the house. They all work full time, but they do live here. Um, so, there's that. And then I've got two of the crescent rolls that go with those little smokies. I asked for the Pillsbury. I guess they're out. And I even said, do not substitute. And here's the substitute. They did that. So, um, oh. Chips um, goes with this salsa. So I am done, I think I said this in another video, but I'm done buying Rayos. 
I'm going to start making my own sauce and seeing what tastes best and what combos and that kind of thing. And so that's what this is for. And these were pretty inexpensive. I usually make my own taco sauce, but this was taco sauce, it's taco seasoning, but this was pretty inexpensive and I like that it's 25% less sodium, which is the reason I've been making my own. So, you know, so, oh, I skipped something here. Uh, this is a, one of the kids' favorites, again, adult, um, Simply Fruit. Likes all the flavors except for anything orange. Hmm. Oh dear, I didn't do these. Minced onion, those are gonna be good in a pinch if you can't get your hands on fresh onions. Three salts because, I already told this story in a couple of vlogs ago, I lost three of my um, back, back supply of uh, salt because I stored them in a place that's not um, insulated and they attracted moisture as salt will do, and they're you know gushy when you try to pick them up, so they're trash. Uh, one yellow cornmeal. I make cornbread with that, of course. Well, I guess you could do a lot of things with cornmeal, but that's what I do with it. Uh, coming around the corner here, I got a large container of strawberries. I hope they're good. Shredded lettuce, fresh carrots, some red seedless grapes. Do they even sell seeded grapes? I mean, grapes with seeds anymore? I remember they used to. I just haven't seen them in a long time, but maybe that's because I always say I don't want seeded grapes. Seed, I don't know how you say that. Anyway, for baking back stock, I got the dark brown sugar and the light brown sugar. I prefer dark brown when I bake because, especially with my cookies, it makes them chewier, in my opinion. Package of green apples, Granny Smith. I messed up bad. I meant to get the size up from these. I don't know what I'm gonna, oh, you know what I could do with them? Put them in the freezer, and then sometime I could fry them up in oil and make chips out of them. If you know what to do with these little bitty things, I mean, I'm not gonna stand there and make, that's a lot of work for just <laughs> four bites. Oh, four grown men live in here. That's not much <laughs> of a taco. Anyway. I got the Oikos Triple Zero Strawberry Flavor. That's my favorite. Well, I like the Honey Greek, but I can't have that, you know, because it's got way more calories than I should be having right now. Okay, I got um, <clears throat> a half and half. I got two different, um, sorry, two different of the Bush's Baked Beans, the big cans. I got two of the Sidekicks. Um, these are Taco Fiesta. Black beans in mild taco chipotle sauce with corn and bell peppers. That'll be popular. This is definitely for sure for my stockpile. Um, we're not a fan of canned potatoes, but if push comes to shove and we can't get our hands on potatoes, we'll be having canned potatoes four cans of corn. Oh, this is for the stockpile, but I will have to hide it on a lower shelf because my children, again, not children, will eat these up. They're <laughs> crazy about them. I, can't, I don't see why, but yeah, they are. Okay, I think that's it. And like I said, that was not cheap. Oh, there's two bags of ice that were included. Yeah, so one, one bag of ice, one and a half bags of ice are already out front in the cooler um, where I keep uh, drinks and snacks for people who deliver. You know, Amazon, grocery delivery, the mail lady, all of that. So um, that's that. And if you enjoy things like this, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. I love to meet new people from all over. And if you say hi, and I'll say hi back, and we'll become friends. I hope you have a really great day. Bye. Mwah.